is essential that in the process of looking at work for future, we consider uh, taking everybody along, uh, particularly those who need greater handholding, longer handholding. In this one day workshop, we are trying to evaluate how we can bring a bridge between the education system and the industry, how we can create job oriented education system, how we can create entrepreneurs also who can also create further jobs. And lastly, but very importantly, that how industry should be a part of the entire education system. Technology A plays a huge role in uh, advancements as well as contribution to uh, economic growth. The uh, prediction engines and machines, uh, specifically the context of AI, uh, is going to displace jobs and the trade-offs that we need to choose have to be along the lines of, uh, of concepts like uh, how much job creation is going to uh, be eroded vis-a-vis -vis how much wealth is going to get distributed. Important priority tasks for the government, skilling, importance of helping unorganized sector uh, employees come out of that, helping the students who are in the mainstream to develop uh, more professional skills, helping the entrepreneurs to succeed early in their careers. We in Telangana are committed to make that happen with the help and collaboration of various other stakeholders. How much time are you? Uh, we can go for 15 These programs give us insight into inclusive growth for women entrepreneurs. We take advantage of these uh, programs which will enable us to learn from others and also mentoring is also possible uh, with uh, experienced uh, alumni from uh, Germany and uh, these people really give us insight into what to do for the last mile connectivity. This alumni further give me very particularly in terms of uh, connectivity with the various stakeholders and other uh, networking uh, platforms, wherein we come to learn more and more about how we can upscale the skilling to the youth. We have to take a more inclusive view if we want to take this digitization with a positive note. I work with farmers and I know what kind of difficulties the farmers face adopting new technologies. Technology has divided this world and we need to create bridges between the fast developing economy and the young and the rich on one hand and on the other, the old economy with its poverty and its old generation. We have to build businesses that will bridge both these so that we have an inclusive society.